my secret now. Okay. I see bad cameras. Hey, GK. Online. All the time. They're everywhere. They don't know they're bad. Sweet Jesus God. Hey everyone, it's the Sagan from Sign to Say, and welcome to today's Shocktober video. So, uh, yeah, welcome back to World of Horror. Um, so I decided I'm gonna give the first case another shot. I'm not happy with the fact that I didn't survive, uh, on the last attempt. And since this is apparently being now described as a roguelike, that means it should essentially be random, and that does sort of follow with the demo. I can't continue, so I'm just gonna go new story. We're gonna go 2-bit palette, keep the default black and white. In fact, I'm probably just gonna say don't I? Alright, so yeah, we're gonna try the spines spine chilling story of school scissors again. Um whether or not this one works out, the next segment of this I do, I'll I'll try extracurricular activity or I'm not sure about quick play, that sounds like it's more, uh, yeah, more random. Yeah, it'll randomly select a character, old god, background, and more, so that might be interesting, but I, I would prefer to play the, uh, yeah, the, the standard way to go, but anyway, we'll, we'll go through with this short one again, so we're good. Okay, so City of Shinokura, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Road figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. Open technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also an unknown threat. Oh god, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and into realms beyond. Alright, so same same story as before, no chance there. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. combat tutorial off this time, I think. Okay, it's the same, uh, same story as before. Okay, so let's get the diary out of storage. And let's check out the lockers first. Okay, so I still need a tiny key to get to this locker. So, okay, I got the wooden bat. Let's go ahead and equip that. I, I still... I, I don't know what this is. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so with that done, let's board the Oh no, I found non-Euclidean 101 again. I have no choice, I must stare in disbelief. Anatomy class. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. 
I'm pretty sure that I just lost two stamina and not one. It's a hell game. In fact, I know that happened with reason. It said negative one to reason, but I'm down to 14 instead of six or 15. Find an additional page for my friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chunk was left in the pool. Okay, so this time it's in the pool, not on the roof. Yeah, okay, but get some better judgment. I'm gonna peek outside. Uh, this ain't gonna be good, is it? Oh god, it's that. Whatever that is again. <laughs> Alright, let's explore this. Kinda hoping by going at a faster pace we'll encounter more events here. You enter the damn spelling sport way. You notice a backpack drifting in the swing on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Well, step to the water and find out. You enter the pool and start swimming toward the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Ugh. Loaded figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Gross. Okay, uh... Back with our baseball bat. Blue teacher attacks me. Take more baseball bat. Cool. Okay, I found the blessed shop, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. Alright, check the diary. That's probably yeah, sigil's completely different. Okay, so candles are still in one of the classrooms. Oh, okay, there's like a combination. Yeah, there we go, that's what we need. Alright, let's keep looking for those candles. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. The girl wearing a demon mask starts giggling as she gets closer. Oh, lovely. Take some baseball bat! Ah! She got me with a box cutter, what the fuck? Take a couple of strong attacks. Yeah, I pretty much just straight up murdered a student here, I mean. Ooh, I got a stick knife. Nice. Yeah, I don't doubt it is. But I still don't have the candles. At the end of the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can't do that, despite having had an anatomy class. Let's... come closer. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Against your head of judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Oh, lovely. Found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You listen to this instruction by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Great. Uh, do I have any items? Anything at all? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I'm already low on stamina. Okay, let's do this. Form the ritual. Wait, what's that? I, I, I think I think she wants in. Okay, here we go again. 
Am I beautiful? Take this for that. Ow. Nice, I got her this time. All right. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. Find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him to limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Find chilling story of a school scissors. Ending A. All right, so there is multiple endings. Horror is over for now. Not the only mystery we're going to sound, you must continue your investigation. Oh, now it's going to restart. I will say, at least the game kept my volume preference, uh, so I didn't have to reset that. That's very nice. Alright, well since that was only 10 minutes, and that's pretty short, let's do one more. Alright, well let's go ahead and try... Extracurricular activity and see where it takes us. Okay, so the same intro looks like. Okay, Alexandria, 48 BC. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the Museum of Our Town for its premiere. Old gods rule. Both you and enemies deal extra damage. Okay, so both a good thing and a bad thing. Okay. Thank you for trying World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may, may be a little disorienting in the beginning. In this short tutorial, I'll do my very best to explain various elements prepared for to fight the horrible old god. Alright, I'm gonna kinda advance to this and not bore y'all with it. Uh, one moment please. Okay. Uh, that's pretty straightforward, just more explaining the UI. I feel like that should be integrated into the first uh, sample playthrough. Because um, that would have been a little helpful to know, although I already knew most of that from playing the demo. Alright, let's... I assume Lighthouse is, like, where we'll ultimately want to go, so let's go home. First, see what we got here. That, that can't be good. Okay, so this is kind of a home base. and get started. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there's something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decision will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. 
Okay, cool. So there's actually like a story to this. That's cool to know here. Because I really thought, oh great, I'm only going to be able to do like one or two episodes of this because it's kind of a standalone thing. But no, there's actually a story mode to this now. Cool, cool. Okay. It's our brute of the blood curdling bot. Bloody brief of the beckoning bulletin. Far out fable of the fear festival. Fine chilling story of school. Three episodes involving eel. Well, I kind of want to start with this because there is another ending, but I don't want to bore you by seeing the same shit. So for this episode, we'll try a different one. Uh, I will go back to this to try and get that other ending. Try bloody brief of a beckoning bullet. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bolts and board software allow computers to communicate over phone lines. Oh man, I tell you, BBS systems almost predate me. Uh, so it's to uh, you know the younger kids out there. You may not even realize what that is or was but basically uh you know you used to have to dial up uh through a modem on your computer to talk to the internet well there were bulletin board systems that are kind of like the more modern forums you find on the internet which those in and of themselves are kind of a dead format but basically it was that but through your computer communicating over the phone line and that's where a lot of internet culture and games developed in the 80s uh, it's kind of a fascinating time that I'm sorry I missed out on, but, you know, we, we basically got to watch the internet evolve, so that was, you know, good enough for us. Alright. Uh, all it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system, or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all the messages on that bulletin, and even post or start your own conversation. Many of them used to share files or chat about your favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. In the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Wow, I kind of like... That's literally what I just described, too. So I kind of <laughs> should have just kept going. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? Okay, I already like the concept of this. Like, uh, you know, the idea of a, a site or uh, a bulletin board or what have you, you know, that, that is driving people to suicide. Um, like, I remember there was a... Uh, well, I know there's, like, rumors of this kind of thing on the internet, but, like, I know there was, like, some anime or something had, like, a website that only showed up, like, at midnight one day a month or something like that, you know. Makes me think of that. Okay, to advance this mystery, investigate the circle location. As you progress, the location and rules may change. Hmm. I almost feel like I should have gone for the scissors one, just so I'm used to this full format. Uh, from a story I'm already familiar with, but we're just gonna, we're gonna forge ahead here. Oh man, we're already 20 minutes. I only, I'm trying to keep these episodes about half an hour so you guys don't get bored. So we'll get as far as we're gonna get, and then I'm gonna save and we'll pick it up next time. Okay, even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect it. Maybe the school library has one that'll work? Okay, so I have all these places I can travel. Want to investigate my own home, damn it! Okay, I have nothing in item storage, so I don't see anything else to do, but let's go to the school. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibit, unaware of the danger. The opening night may prove to be the last night for all of us. If... If so too is coming, and now you know the date. Okay, so this seems like it's tying into... 
the bit about like the museum and shit. All right. Well, let's keep investigating the school. The trail going co cold. It might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. I mean, I don't feel like that's the same case that we're investigating now, but, um, yeah, let's study the local music. I'll check failure. It was a complete waste of time. We spent the whole day reading about cute dogs, giant vegetables, and the occasional accident. We find nothing related to the case in hand. Plus 5% doom. Doom! Alright, well, let's go to downtown, see where that takes us. Oh, I, I missed this bit here. Well, the school library computer doesn't have a modem. You happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arranged to meet her at her home in the city. Alright. We go downtown. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Well, I can't call the police because I don't have the perk. I'm not going to follow this guy. Well, I guess I can call the police. I can't do whatever this option. Um... No, I'm, I'm going to do nothing. I lost... Oh, I didn't eat, so I lost stamina. Damn. You load the cardboard box full of PC parts up to your apartment stairs. Teeth clench as you he heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. I'm surprised she let you just take her computer. That's kind of crazy. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go back to, to the apartment. I've encountered r raining blood! A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. The trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna calm her down. I'm not going into that bath. Shit. You touch her shoulder, she gets hysterical. Her reaction shocks you. You move away as the neighbors enter the corridor. Damn. You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you are now certain everything is functioning. The newscaster on TV states the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. Well... Hmm, so I have the side quest of investigating the forest. But I'm gonna press on investigate the apartment. Mr. Triple Zero, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. Oh, you mean Mr. Ito? <laughs> He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. What's that picture? That catch a glimpse of a painted thing. Suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. Hmm. Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. Many deaths have there been, the hospital's in chaos. Staff looks exhausted. The receptionist lets her head down on the desk for a minute. You slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridor. I am actually going to... Let's... Let's do the floor. This, this is probably just a wholly dumb idea. Then blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he is engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. The other people start to panic and help the burn victim. You spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. 
confuse you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of the supernatural attack. Well, pursue the woman, we don't have a choice. Ooh, I learned a spell. I started to check success. The hooded woman disappears behind a corner, and when you get there, she's gone, already mixed in with the crowd. In a nearby dumpster, you find the sulfur sticky hoodie and an envelope containing your photo. That's a curious incantation. Alright. Let's go back to the forest. Trees overhead blunt with sunlight, and you begin to feel gloomy. Negative two to reason. Damn. After searching deep in the woods for one some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a nose. Write this for anyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationship. Show death, and that connection will not last you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, listen to the voice of humanity. Uh huh. Creepy. Alright, let's investigate the hospital. Someone has been branding <laughs> patients with the cult symbols. Assume the worst, because I don't have a choice. Branded like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? Plus four doom. We're up to 20% doom. Damn. You overheard two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. Exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. The investigation is starting to take a toll on it, on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address the weakened state? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Uh, we can't take a hot bath. We're gonna take a nap. The world may be falling apart, but you really needed that. Plus one stamina, plus one reason. I'll take that. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes from the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students left in front of a train, hand in hand. Wow, that's... that's fucked up. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village street. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Where the hell did those fishermen go? Fuck, it's just sushi, right? The smell of the dish almost makes you sick and you run out of the ghastly restaurant. Negative one spam. Damn. Find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the death. Forgive her, her grandfather says, as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Try to lose the masked man that's been following you the whole morning. You eventually find yourself in a dead end. Looking for a way out, you hear a branch snapping behind you. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, well that wasn't what I planned to do. I wanted to talk to the girl, but I guess that wasn't an option. <laughs> or maybe I hit the wrong button, I'm not sure. Well. Oh, I don't have any weapon either. I may be screwed here, guys. <laughs>
Nice. Okay, the recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Frighted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Huh. Yeah, I know I said I was cutting off in 10 minutes, but now I'm just curious. Seasonal floods have closed many of the roads. Alright. I think that is a good place. Stop. Right here. I know, I know. Teasing, but I'm looking at the time. I've got a few other things to do. I still need to edit this, and I need to get to bed. But I hope you're all enjoying this. I'm going to pick up right here. In fact, I'm going to make sure that I can save. Uh, before we stop here. Oh no! Oh sh... Sorry guys, I thought it was gonna let me quit. I didn't realize, like, I have to play through. Okay. Well... Damn it. <laughs> If I could undo that, I would. Sorry. I should have... I should have just said screw it and kept going. Well, I'm afraid that's going to have to be the end of this one. But when we pick it up, I'll start with this one again. I will try it. See where it goes. And we won't stop until we're we're done. So. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this entry of World of Horror. Uh, stay tuned for more Shocktober. In fact, let me get in frame for that. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that today. I didn't change anything. World of or Shocktober, and uh, until next time, you stay classy.